Yep. What's going on, everyone? It's been a while. Uh, we've missed you. Have you missed us? We've uh, we haven't been streaming for I don't know for at least a month, more than that I think, and we're finally back. So how's it going, everyone? Um, yeah, it's um, it's been busy a, a busy couple of couple of months making the course, uh, and we'll talk about that today. So good evening, and let's begin. So I was thinking, yeah, I was it, it, I, I just have this impression like I'm always talking about talking about Go here all alone. I was calling the whole Go Magic team to join me live on stream, and you know, they all, all of them said just, yeah, yeah, we don't want to join you. So they, they, they all feel so shy. So, you know, yeah. and you're always probably under this impression that I am just floating in this black space all alone, talking about Go, making Go courses. But they're all out there. They're out there, these people. Yay, hey Maverick, hey Dr. Wanderer. Uh, so let's start off uh, this live stream with uh, with a trailer. Actually, we've made a trailer, which I'm not proud of. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you anyway. So, uh, and the trailer is of course uh, of our upcoming Joseki course, which some of you have already seen. The first three lessons are available, and the rest are coming pretty soon. <sighs> Let's get it started. Ouch. Hello. Good morning. It is my honest intention to make a fair division of this corner territory. So how do you think we should proceed? I hope you wouldn't mind me surrounding an equal amount of property on the side here. I certainly would not. I think we can both agree that this is a fair result. Oh dear me, old chap, we're actually making progress here, aren't we? Josekis are not some scary monsters that are meant to make the game more complicated, but they're actually a tool that can be used and mastered to make your opening more efficient. You don't have to learn any Josekis. Sometimes when you see that your opponent is trying to make the game more complicated, he's just looking for a fight, and I will show you how to make this game, how to make the Josekis more simple. Because this is like a music, if you want to learn how to improvise or even play a simple tune, you need to learn basic notes and chords first. And this is exactly what we're going to start with. Learn some simple Josekis. There you go. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't laugh, don't laugh, okay, okay. Just hold it, hold it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, for anyone new out there, um, this is a live stream from Go Magic. We haven't been live for a while. Go Magic is an educational platform dedicated to making lessons and everything else about the game of Go. And uh, yeah, come on, Maverick. Say no more. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, we're primarily making courses on the game of Go. It's like the entire platform is centered around the courses and then we try to grow everything else around them. So as supplementary materials, like once you've, you're done with video courses, with interactive video courses, you can also go to uh, skill trees and this is uh, um, like leveled solving problems and trying to see where your problems are, like where your gap in Go knowledge is. And then articles, materials, links, and everything else. Yay, yay. Uh, I just missed someone just... Uh... Oh, oh, someone just followed us. Hey hearts, 5,000, hey. So, um, I was thinking, let's start it off with... Uh, we, I usually say let's start it off with a game, but uh, let's play a game later. Let's start start off with a, with a game review. Dr. Wanderer just subscribed! Yay! I thought you subscribed earlier. Somehow I thought you, you were subscribed already, but I guess I missed that. Maybe it's been a while and uh, my memory is kind of hazy. So, um, speaking of um, game reviews, we have, by the way, Dr. Wanderer's game is going to be reviewed, one of the reviewed games, but we're going to start off with this one right here. Let's take a look. Uh, wait, let me check. Is it going to be Dr. Wanderer? No, actually, we're going to start it off with a uh, uh, review of Grandpa Frog, who's also live here in the chat, I think. 
Let's take a look. Grandpa is very active in, uh, in, in, on Discord and always texting about some crazy challenges that he's doing. I mean, I just always envy his dedication. It's like always every day, just every day doing those problems. I mean, I try to do the same thing, but I, uh, I, I break my routine all the time. This, this guy does it regularly. Really good. And yeah, uh, I saw the game uh, that Grandpa played against Anton, the last game that they played. And it was just so much better than the games that I reviewed like a few months ago. So yeah, great progress there. And this game is actually uh, an indication of this. Grandpa is playing against the 3Q, 6Q against the 3Q. And this 3Q actually thinks that he can do anything. And no, no, that's not true. Let's take a look. So Grandpa is uh, black and uh, difficulty rating seven, 3Q is white. Okay, fairly simple beginning. Sun Sun Invasion, okay. All right, uh, I'm not gonna comment too much here because the most exciting part of this game was actually in this fight that happened in the middle game where Grandpa, spoiler, had every chance in the world to finish the game off in his favor. But let's see. So white approaches, black takes the corner, very good. Again, very cocky move, just trying to get the whole bottom side. Uh, okay. Probably not the Joseki, but okay. Not the biggest move, but fine, fine, fine. And yeah, this move, this is, uh, this is the first thing that... Uh... Oh, 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 I, I didn't know. Okay, okay. Uh, I, just, I just read your message second month in a row. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that familiar with the Twitch mechanism. So I, I didn't know you had to subscribe like every month. I thought you subscribe once and you're, that's it. You're a subscriber for life or something. I didn't know that. Yeah, so this move from White is, um, is kind of very, very ambitious, don't you think? I mean, <laughs> just look at that. So White is obviously hoping to press Black down and just get everything. Um, oh, by the way, how's the sound? Is the sound okay? Because um, I, I haven't been streaming for a while and this mic is still kind of new. Is the sound loud enough? Yeah, Mike is saying good. Sound is perfect. Great, 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 great. Okay. So yeah, this move, um, actually, actually, let's do a, um, let's do a, um, let's do a poll here. I'm gonna ask you, uh, I'm gonna ask you where would you play here? So I'm gonna put some numbers. Hmm, let's say. So uh, let's say we, we have a choice between this, this, uh, maybe something like this, and let's say mm, maybe, well, this slide looks pretty important. Let's, let's do this. So A, B, C, and D, what would you do? Can we do a poll? A poll, please. A, B, C, and D. O8 looks simplest locally. Mmm. O8. Okay. Just, uh, um, I think you have those buttons, right? Do they have buttons? Because I, I only see where to play. Uh huh, okay. All right, so pick one, pick one. There's a proverb that says that when there's a capping move, when you see a capping move like this one, so white is capping the black stone like from the top. And uh, there's an old Japanese proverb that says, uh, respond to a capping move with a kema, like with a knight's move. And uh, the kema here would be playing B, uh, playing at Q11. Uh, so what are the options? The old Japanese wisdom, you know? All right, do we have a result? And the result is like, one person said C. One person said C, hmm, okay. And Clivus too also said, oh, eight looks, yes. Oh, oh, so many. Everyone voted for C. Hey, 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 after Uh Yeah, exactly. C looks kind of like the shit, the shit the, um, you know, it's just so intuitive, right? It's, um, 
I mean, I, I'm sure that it, even if I don't put the C or A, B, and D, you would still want to play this Kama. This this Kama looks so natural. Uh, not the the B Kama, but the but that the other Kama. So of course, playing here is exactly what White wants, right? And the same could be uh, said about this. What White wants you to get scared and protect the right side, while White is just pushing you around. So this is not something you want to do. White is not so strong here. White has three stone. Black is strong everywhere, so Black shouldn't be afraid. Of course, Tanuki is really not an option here. White is trying to be very, very aggressive, so we have to respond with violence. Right, so C is a very obvious move, yeah. and uh, it might not be so obvious in other situations, but when Black is strong, this <clears throat> shape came a cut oh, so good. And this White Stone, this, this White Stone, what is it going to do? I mean, what is it gonna do? It's just, it's just floating there. How can White save it now? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. So if if uh, Black had played this in the game, White would have been in a lot of trouble, I think. But anyway, um, Black made uh, option E, which is an aggressive invasion. Fine, fine, fine. And this is something I don't understand from three Q uh, splitting Hrastic two groups at the same time. Yes, exactly. Uh, right now, White is doing this. The, 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 this honey doesn't work. Uh, I don't know why White is doing this. And White connects and allows this. Oh, what a perfect shape. I mean, look at that. This, this shape just makes the game. It makes the game all right. Now Black is all connected. These stones, right? I mean, take a look at this shape here. Like how all of these stones are well connected together. Now. After this shape, it feels like black can never run into any difficulty in this game anymore. White stones are all disconnected. Now, from this point on, black can only start harassing the groups and just bullying white, and white doesn't really have any defense against that. So, let's see. White is trying to save everything. Okay, all right. White has the white has the the you know the the courage to play on the left and take the points while there are two groups or more groups potentially floating on the right. Okay. Jump out, great. Okay. See, White is trying to save everything, but if, at some point this just, you know, it, it, it can't, uh, White is not Katago, right? This, this cannot continue. Probably even Katago cannot save everything. Uh, it's just impossible. Okay, maybe Katago can, I don't know. Uh, maybe this move is kind of slow, right? Black is taking the points, but maybe this is the time to start thinking about the entire group, like all of these stones, all of these. This is all one eyeless group. It doesn't have any eyes, not a single eye. So maybe it's a good time for Black to start thinking about, uh, you know, something like this. Just a simple, straightforward attack. Katago can. Katago can. It's like... It, it has to be it has to be spelled with a K, right? Katago can. Katago can combat. And all with a K, of course. Um, so I would start thinking about something like this to attack white. And oh, and this move kind of also splits white apart and attacks the right group while also preparing to attack the left group. Oh, I don't know. But okay, we do this, this. Fine, fine. This is an ancient oriental land grab game. Calling Go, called Go or Baduk. Oh, what's the game? Oh, I think Aftis is not asking about the, uh, what this game is called. He's asking uh, what this game that we're reviewing is. And this is a game of one of our subscribers uh, from Russia. He's, he's, uh, his nickname is Grandpa Frog. And um, he's just, he plays a lot of games. And uh, when I, by the way, guys, I'm gonna use this opportunity to just say that every time we're, we're live on stream, like very often we have time to review some games. And if you want one of your games to be reviewed live on stream, just like this, send in your games on Discord, on, I don't know, Facebook, any way that's convenient for you. Just find a way, send, uh, send an SGF game of, of your game and I'll review it live on stream. If you, I mean, if you don't mind me criticizing your game mildly, then send, send them in, send them in. 
Here, perfect, perfect. Black is attacking. Ta da! Uh, white seems to have only one eye, like this. One eye. Oh my goodness, only one eye. So white is dying here. And now white tries to do some last chance magic. Boom, cut. Okay. So, I mean, the first instinct is just, just take it. And why not take it? Even if you don't take it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is a, we, we'll do a Russian language live stream. Uh, yeah, this is one of our subscribers and this is one of his games. And we have one more game planned for tonight to be reviewed. Uh, so before a live stream, I always offer everyone to send your games uh, before, like two or three days before, and I'll review them live just like this. So just take it. Why, what's the problem here? In the game, Grandpa didn't take it, but uh, I don't see any problem here. White cuts like this, take, and now what, what now? Is White going to crawl? No way. Is White going to do the nose to Suji? Hmm? Hmm? But no, it doesn't really work. We just take the stone and um, yeah. Yes, White can connect, but uh, Black is actually all strong here. So there's no way for White to make the second eye. Um, I, I think at this point, uh, Gu Li cannot make a second eye. Nobody can make a second eye here for White. White's going to die. And the game would be over, but uh, fine. White is trying here something. White escapes out. And this is one of those cases where, you know, when you play against a stronger opponent, and I've, I mean, I've been in this situation before when it just seems like after the game you review it, and it just seems like you played the only, like the only moves possible that allowed your opponent to, to beat you. <laughs> like he was losing like, every move you would play would, would, would win. And you played like the only sequence of moves that lost the game. And this is what, what's happening here. So White is trying to escape. Okay, this is so um, <laughs> strong, but probably not necessary. Maybe something like this is easier. This is like, you know, uh, Grandpa, uh, if you've ever played the, the game that we have on the website, it's called Catch the Cat. Uh, that, that's kind of the same idea. When you're trying to catch your opponent, uh, when he's escaping and you're trying to catch him, don't try to catch him, like stop him right, right there in his tracks, but try to catch him at a distance. Th this is easier. If you, if you like create those nets from, from a distance of three points or two points, it's easier to catch, surprisingly. So you play something like this and where's white gonna run? Yeah, white can do the peep, connect, and then what? How is white gonna escape? Like this? Uh, can cut, right? Yes, this is a cut. Like this, just block. Nothing, there's nothing white can do, I think. But okay. And again, here probably Hane. Probably just Hane. Nothing to be scared of. And here, I don't know, can we do something like this? Just surround? <laughs> and I don't think white is escaping out of here. And block, okay. Hmm. Okay, Atari. And this is probably not the best thing here. So when you have this, maybe, maybe just take first. Sente, right? White has to connect. And maybe this bamboo joint. Hmm, good shape. And uh, white can probably cut here. But, uh, you know, we are going to do something like this, maybe something like this, something like this. Black is all connected. And uh, thanks to the bamboo joint, black is connected here, connected everywhere, and white is still kind of dying inside. Kind of dying, yeah. So, yeah, this is probably the last point here. You, you really have to, you, you really have to do something here. So yeah, you maybe, maybe Atari first and then connect. You have to defend here. Otherwise, white will cut and the two stones are going to die. And this is, I, I don't remember already, but I think this is what's going to happen. Yeah, so white cuts. 
And yeah, you take the three stones, but you could have taken the entire thing, you know? And now this is not just a capture of one stone or not just a capture of three stones for white. White also, well, the, the entire group is alive. And also white made like all of these points, you know, all of these points, like all of these points, they wouldn't really belong to white if these two stones had lived, right? But now the stones are dead and white made all of the points in the left. It's just too much. And uh, yeah, and this is how the game is now probably lost. If, if white can live with the bottom group and white did, then that's it. I mean, even if maybe the, the bottom group is dying, it, it doesn't really matter. But I mean, here on the right, there was a really, really good chance. It was not just a good chance. It was a simple chance. It was, uh, it, it, those were moves that didn't require any magic. You just had to, just had to play them. Very simple, very obvious moves. Just surround, cover it up, and just don't let the group escape. As simple as that. So I hope that helps. Uh, so there's no there's no need to be tricky in your games. Just play. Sometimes it's enough to make a simple move. Uh, all right. Let's let me go back to. All right. I'm sipping tea here. Oh, uh, I'm forgetting that we have the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Go Magic Roulette, which is here. This one that we spin for for donations. Is it five bucks, Mike? I think we spend it for five bucks donations. Uh, yeah, here, here's the roulette. It goes like this. ta -da cycle. So you can win some uh, Go Magic coupons. You can win some uh, me telling uh, suspiciously uh, stupid jokes. Uh, we, can, we can do a Chinese lesson which is me teaching you something in Chinese, which you may or may not want to know, uh, and some tea upgrades, whatever that means. So yeah, um, that, that goes, the, that goes the, uh, the roulette. Uh, what kind of tea? What kind of tea? Um, well, this is Anton's tea and not my tea, but I think this should be red tea. Uh, which one exactly? I can't tell by, it's already cold, so I can't tell by by smell. I'm gonna have to ask Anton later. Uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome, Grandpa, uh, Grandfather Frog, you're welcome. Oh, it's Tan Yen. I don't even know this tea. Thanks, Anton. Uh, oh, uh, we have plans? What plans? I didn't even see anyone asking about, oh, but there any, any plans to make more history courses on Go Magic, like the Huanlongshi and Zhou? Uh, yeah. It's probably actually I have plans because th like those courses were essentially my idea and um, it's something that we know is probably not going to be very successful uh, commercially because you know we have, let's face it uh, if people are ready to pay for something then it's got to be something educational and not something entertaining um, and those courses are probably ten percent. Um, educational and 90% just pure history and entertainment. Uh, so I'm not sure how many people are willing to uh, to pay for that for some historic games. But yeah, I, I, I really think it's cool. And if I had those courses back in the day, boy, that would, would have been lovely. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just essentially taking some of our favorite players, some of the favorite stories from the Go, from all of the Go history, and we tell stories about that, review some of the most famous games ever played. Uh, I review them with the help of professional commentary and, uh, and also add, uh, add some, um, some of Catago AI vision on that, plus some of my own maybe ideas and things that I have to say about that. So it's all like mixed together. Pretty cool mixture. Uh, yeah, uh, Aya Elkanayev, thank you. Uh, thank you for following and um, Wait, someone just asked something. Um, wait, personally, I only paid for the Huanlongshi and Joe courses. Okay, well, you're, you're, I mean, understandable, especially if you are maybe a stronger player. Uh, oh, someone just asked, uh, how long have I been playing Go? Um, too long. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've known the rules for a while, but there were lots of periods when I just 
were, I was doing other things and I did not play any Go at all. So I learned the rules maybe about 15 years ago. And, and then, but actively playing maybe only in about seven years. Maybe let's put it this way. Um, I, I would say if you are a stronger player, let's say if you are three done or four done or five done, then if you come to Go Magic and if you, uh, you, f you sign up and you get an account, then I don't think there's any, like a lot of uh, educational materials right now that are for your level. But at the same time, we have a few courses like these, like the historical courses that are actually good for anybody, I think. So if a, a hypothetical six done player comes, uh, or anybody actually, any strong amateur comes to Go Magic, then uh, I think it's too bright. It's definitely too bright. Yeah. Um, then I think the, the the Go the Magic of Go course where I talk about some coolest like craziest positions that ever existed in the game, and the historical courses. Those three courses are actually the ones of the three like this. Those three courses are actually the ones that I think could be interesting for almost anybody. Where where is the courses on Endgame and the courses on you know uh, Fuseki and the courses on uh, Joseki for example? They are only suitable for um, double digit and single digit Q players, mostly. Uh, yeah, entertainment is, is is important. We need more authors. Yeah, we need more. Yeah, we need more. We definitely need more people to come out here to come join us in Batumi here in Georgia and make fantastic courses with us because um i mean we can't make a thousand courses here on all on our own i can't make a thousand courses i can't make a hundred courses so if you guys are out there watching this and you think yeah i could do better than that i have a seven done rank and i speak like a like you know like an ancient roman i can ah uh, just think about what kind of courses i would deliver oh my goodness yeah come here and you can do that Come join us, and uh, we'll make a a fabulous course together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can. Mike is saying pessimistically that you can, you can definitely do the courses out. You can make courses out there while comfortably living in your own country. But that's probably going to be either a screencast or uh, like lower quality because it's it's difficult. We understand that it's difficult to assemble. Uh, this sort of equipment setup, like all the lights and all the cameras and put it all together, the board, physical board. Wait to Chisho. Chisho. This is Chinese. Uh, Wei to Chisho Labda followed you. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you are probably uh, of Chinese origin or something, cause, or you speak Chinese. <laughs> your, your, your nickname is uh, definitely in Chinese. Um, do I have to speak like an ancient Roman? No, you don't. But I mean, uh, I'm assuming that there might be people out there who think, you know, I mean, there are definitely people out there who who they've been teaching maybe go at their local like local go clubs or you know lo some local gatherings, and they're really good at this. It's just that they they never filmed themselves. They never made any like video content, and with the right equipment, would put it all together and then edit everything magically like we can with the help of a little magic wand that we have uh, we can make it look great we can we, we can help you make it look great oh you're french salut bonsoir uh do i have to speak like an ancient yeah so no no you don't have to speak like an ancient roman you just have to be cool and entertaining and uh generally amazing <laughs> all right um so uh, we have, uh, anyone wants to play a game or something? Uh, we have one more game store for review, but uh, yeah, we don't want to review so many games in a row. So uh, anyone up for a game on a nine by nine or something? Anton, no, no Anton. Anybody, nine by nine, I'm up. Okay, sure, uh, what's your, uh, do you have an OGS uh, username? Uh, yeah, nine by nine because it's faster, and we can do, we can finish a game, uh, and that will, it, it will allow me to continue talking. And uh, how many languages do I know? Uh, a few. <laughs> well, I'm a linguist. I mean, I'm not a Go teacher by like it's not my 
college major or something. I'm just a... Uh, I'll show the trailer, um, sure. Just uh, Anton, oh, don't worry, I'll get to it. Somewhere at the end, when everyone left, <laughs> I'll show the trailer one more time. Zoob Zoob. Zoob Zoob. Or is it Zub Zub? Okay. Uh, how strong are you? Oh, I'm going to see that anyway. Uh, zub Zub. <laughs> That's a funny username. Okay. All right, I'm going to send you a challenge right now. Yeah, sorry, Aftis. Uh, Zub Zub Effendi was first, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play him. But we'll, we can play next time, okay? Or maybe we'll have time for another game. Who knows? Who knows how fast my throat is gonna go, and uh, I won't be able to speak anymore. Uh, so challenge. Yeah. Let's see. No handicap. Comey. Well, no Comey, right? How do I set it to no? Oh, oh, yes, call me for sure. Uh, my color doesn't matter. All right, let's let's put it make make it this way. Sure. Sand challenge. Game started. Okay, let's go. Uh, just so just some ginger boy. <laughs> hey, just some ginger boy. All right, have a good game. 10 again, I'm white. Okay, what did I always say? Modern Kranst. Modern Kranst. Modern Kranst. Okay, hey. Uh, what should I do? Let's do my favorite 3 4. So, Zub Zub, tell me honestly, how many games on, of 9x9 have you played in your life? Have you played many? How much experience? How much 9x9 experience do you have? This will allow me to optimize my strategy. Uh, started playing Go just this year. Got a total of about 2,000 games. What? This year? What? How, how how did you do that? <laughs> did you play like 20 games a day or something? Um, wait, is this going to live? Like, do I have to add any more stones? I kind of want to add another stone here. All right, let's add. Let's add another move, and then I'm going to Tanuki. I feel like, yeah. I'm I'm really looking forward to like we we're still planning to make a course um about uh playing on 9x9 like the uh, the like amazing 9x9 strategies professional level like AI level 9x9 strategies and I am personally really looking forward to that course because I'm not going to be the one making it I mean I'm going to be the one making it but like uh, I'll, I'll I'll will film it but someone else will make it and so I'll even though I'm I'm going to be the one speaking, but I'll 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 get a chance to learn something, and I really want to because nine by nine seems like a very nice little thing. Okay, right. Black gets the corner. I need to I need to invade, but where? Let's do it this way. Oh, okay. Wow, this is something I totally didn't expect. I was really expecting uh, E6 to kind of block the corner and separate me, which probably would have been the right thing to do. But I don't know. This looks very bizarre. <laughs> but I, it's not obvious to me like right away how to respond to this. I really want to play this. Can I play this? I mean, I, 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 I feel like I almost have to play this. I have to play d6 and disconnect. <sighs> All right. 
Yeah, I think I yeah yeah I think I'm gonna play that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play just that. Oh, what? Oh, whoa! This is okay. I now at this point I was totally I was so sure you were gonna push through. You were gonna push through because I can't block, and otherwise you would cut, and I would have to let you cut me. But since you didn't do that, you don't really leave me a choice. I, I have to connect. And maybe this is actually... Yeah, this is an interesting idea. I mean, if you're alive there, and you probably are, then uh, what am I left with? I'm left with nothing. He's, he's got me surrounded. Let's get to the chopper. All right. Yeah, I'm all like, uh, all miserably alone in the corner, feeling bad about myself. And this black corner is so alive. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's push here once. I'm just afraid that if I don't push this, the chopper, yes, the chopper goes brr. All right, um, at this point, we can probably safely say that I'm not killing anything, which is a shame, which is a damn shame. This would have made the game easier. <laughs> now, it's time to think about points. <laughs> it's probably time to think about territory, Mike. Do, what do you think? Um, I have Comey. Comey, remember? Six and a half points. Those six, six and a half points, they smell better than the tea. Let me tell you that. So, I'm just gonna play... Oh yeah. I'm just gonna push once again. Not the best move. Probably not the best move. Yeah, probably not the best move. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Not tea, that's poison. Tan Yen poison, they said. All right, uh, can I? What should I do? Should I attach to Sun Sun or should I play Kema? I think I should attach. Oh, yeah. Attaching seems more powerful. What is Black gonna do? What is Black gonna do? Is Black gonna surrender? <gasps> he always makes those unexpected moves. But I feel like this move is kind of a little bit hurting Black because of course I'm, I'm gonna connect. No question about it, thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna connect, but uh, it's hurting the corner a little bit. See that, that corner? That uh, lonely, that lonesome corner uh, in the upper left. Yeah, it's getting surrounded. Because actually right now, I have this uh, wonderful idea that I can, I can play if I really have to, if I get desperate in this game, I can play B7. And uh, when, uh, when Black responds, I can double Hane at uh, A8. And it's going to be a Ko... It's going to be a co, but this co will give me a chance to kill the corner. But I'm not desperate yet. I'm going to attack. And yeah, I need to defend here. How am I going to do that? This would have been a very nice defense, <laughs> like threatening the corner. This move is actually threatening the corner. But yeah, I'm going to do... Can I just do... Oh, wait. I think I have enough points. Let's do this. Who needs the co? 
Who needs a stinking coat? Nobody. Not me. Mike, would you play the co? No. Mike wouldn't play the co. No. And we just connect. Just like magic. Mmm, the flavor of Tan Yen. Just look, look at me. Ten minutes ago, I didn't even know it existed. And now, it smells like heaven. Okay, white, black is not happy there, but we do this. Ooh, okay. Block. You're going to have to go back and respond in the corner. There's no avoiding that. You're going to have to go back. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll be patient. I will respond to this, okay? But you have to go back. You have to go back. Go back. Go back. Back. Now. Yes. Now, um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, we're going to do this. And now we're going to do this. Can we do this? Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That descending move that is like um, in the course on typical mistakes. Speaking of which, um, the course on typical mistakes is now free on Go Magic. If you go to gomagic.org and if you clicked on, on courses, then we used to have the course uh, with the rules and the course with 13 by 13 free. And now the course on typical mistakes. It's called uh, Typical Mistakes That Wouldn't Let Us Get Better. That course is now free for everybody, so you can go check it out. And uh, in that course, there's one of the lessons is dedicated to this particular move, descending, on, descending to the first line. And this is one of the exceptions where it actually works. You can descend, and white doesn't have the Atari. White cannot play J J1. So this is the situation where H1, does descending actually makes sense. Good job. So I'm going to do, can I do this? Or is it a good move? Wait, what if I play here? Do you, will you have to respond? Dun dun, Atari, Atari. <gasps> yeah, it was still a mistake. Yeah, so H, I, I just, ah. Uh, my, here goes my high praise. Yeah, a, 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 any other situation like this one, this descending would have been possible. But now, because I, I get this Hane on the first line, you, you, you will respond with E1, Atari, I connect. And then Black needs to defend. Yeah, you see? If Black leaves the position like this, I will Atari, 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 and capture. But if, if Black had played G2, a simple connection, then right now my Hane at D1 would have been Gote. See? Now this. Atari. Mr. Bobbin Sonics. Hey. Thanks for following. Welcome. Okay, now I have two moves left. There are two moves left. There's a push at F5 and there's a block at A7. Which one's bigger? Oh, probably this one's bigger. Oh, oh, you responded. Okay, oh yeah, probably this one's bigger, yeah. And there's still a weakness at uh, G2. So you'll have to fix that. I don't want to die. No, you're not going to die. Oh, the corner's alive. No worries. This group uh, in the upper left, it's alive. 
take my word for it or don't <laughs> yeah 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 you have to you have to defend here and then i just i just i don't know i don't know why i played this actually we can we can pass right can we pass pass there are no dead stones no dead stones isn't that a peaceful game okay uh except you have one 11 points. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? What happens on C9 by white? C9. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Wait, black C8. Whoa, 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 so many, so many options. All right, let's, let's take a look. Uh, review the game. Thanks for the game. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's start with this, uh, this question. What happens if, if uh, I don't pass, <laughs> but if I, yeah, if I try to invade? What was it? Black C8, right? Uh, black c8? Oh, 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 what? Black c8? Black doesn't have to c8, but if, if I cut, you, black just takes, right? Uh, wait, d9. Wait, what? d9? Black captures, right? Uh, if I invade like this, black just connects. Just connects, and there's nothing I can do. There's a... Um, oh, yeah, so white c9, black simply connects. And uh, these two, how, how, how do I do it? These two points are definitely going to be eyes. Uh, oh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? But I mean, these two are me eye, me eye. So it doesn't matter if white plays here, two eyes. If, uh, wait, which one did I play? White plays here, two eyes. So it doesn't matter which way I extend. Um, black can get two eyes. Yeah, yeah, co threats for sure, but we don't have any co left. Like, this is a small board and no co uh, will be played. So, what I was talking about um, before, I was talking about it wasn't really necessary because white at this point is ahead on points, thanks to Comey, actually. But uh, I could have played this if I was desperate. Uh, I could play this and this. And black would have to Atari, I Atari, like this, and this is a co. It's a kind of, yeah, black takes first, and then I look for uh, some crazy co threat. I don't know where I would play it, actually. Uh, well, in this game, there is no co threat. I would probably just die and lose the game, and just lose the game here. So I would need to prepare a really good co threat to play it right now, and then I take the co and win it, and then the corner dies. Uh, but that's, that's a very desperate co. It's di really difficult to play it. So let's go all the way back and see what, what was happening there. This is fine. I mean, maybe just block. I don't see why not block. This is our typical shape. Uh, white pushes, black blocks. Like uh, we see it in so many Josekis, right? When you have this um, st like star star point, isn't it the same thing? When, you, when we have this sort of thing, right? This Joseki on, on 19 by 19, of course. So I think blocking here would have been just easier. Yeah, yeah, but then you take one corner so solid, I couldn't manage. Well, yeah, but at this point, I cannot play from the corner anymore. I have to do some invasions, right? So I have to do something like this, which means that it gives you a chance to start maybe doing something like this and, you know, start aggressively attacking my corner. And you know my corner gets so small, and also I probably need to save it somehow. So I would I would need to do something like this to try and you know live here, and you could just. And I would still need to respond here, and you would start some surrounding moves like this one. So this would be not a very simple game. Definitely lots of fighting ahead, but it could be interesting. All right, but in the game you played this, which is very solid, very good shape, by the way, very good shape. There's no cuts, for sure. Uh, I mean, on this small board, uh, the the side is so close that you shouldn't be afraid of like if if you probably were afraid that I would cut immediately like 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 this, right? But this is not really scary because look, for example, for example, black can do I don't know something like this. This is probably sente. And then can we just do this? Or even if we can't, maybe like this. 
and then just extend. Black is alive here. And these three stones, I don't know. <laughs> they really look like they're in trouble here. Uh, and if, if I start living like this, then black can start attacking the corner. So white is just falling apart everywhere. So I don't know if I would be brave enough to, to cut like this. Uh, I would have to be very, very brave. So I invade. Here, probably just disconnect. Just disconnect and uh, the same way I, I we said at the beginning, just disconnect and try to attack both at the same time. But interesting idea, interesting idea. Because right now, uh, if you push, I cannot do this. I would very much like to do this, but you would cut. And it feels like um, this is dangerous for white. I have the two stones cut off. I have this one. I have to save. Dangerous. But this really allows me to... Uh, I mean, yeah, you're getting territory. You, you get two uh, territories on both sides. But at the same time, now I get this perfect connection. And now I don't have to worry about a thing. I, I really don't have to worry anymore because all of my stones are, are not going to die. Double self peep. Yeah, 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 you just peeped and those peeps, they just, they help me get stronger. So you're forcing me to defend by connecting. And I, I, I'm happy to do that. I connect and now at least I know that I can do anything I want. And I, now I just need to reduce your territory as much as I can. So I defend the corner and attack your stones. And probably at this point already, you probably need to respond anyway. Yeah, you can't play. If you Can you play? Maybe you can do this, actually. Can you do this first? <laughs> like this, if I start, if I start attacking, you can still do this. But you already have the corner protected. I'm excited to see what Super 9 does with uh, this age of Go with AI will train. Uh, you mean like how strong uh, Nine Dun players can become with the help of AI? Yeah, yeah. And it's already, we, we can see it happening right now. Um, right now, the style of, if you take a look at some of the games that are played today compared to the games that were played 10 years ago, only 10 years ago, you will see a tremendous difference. Like in Joseki, in, in the openings, everything, even the style of uh, middle game is different. A lot, a lot of the shapes have been uh, uh, researched into and uh, a lot of the shapes are have been like confirmed by the AI to be okay and some of the shapes were not okay maybe black can play uh, like yeah Yamayuta plays like a machine but imagine if he learned from Katago since three instead of teens yeah we'll probably see an invasion of the body snatchers I mean invasion invasion of the uh, machine players uh, who learned from Katago from the age of four or five and maybe in about 10 years, we'll see that. So yeah, we'll, we're going to be around to witness that. Uh, and Tom says, maybe black can play E8 instead of D7. Instead of D7, D7. Oh, or maybe, yeah, maybe even F8. Yeah, yeah, so maybe not, not the connection. He means like defend like this, maybe. Yeah, maybe F8 is a better shape. Yeah, this looks, yeah, it's it's still defending. Yeah, it's still defending, but de defending kind of indirectly. This way, yeah, looks looks more slick. Yeah, I, I have to agree. Uh, this would force me to still do something about the corner. I would probably still do this, but I'm not happy. Yeah, but black still needs to go back. <laughs> black can't leave it like this, right? Or can... H7? Yeah. Well, then H7? Is this uh, what, what a machine suggested this? Oh, H7. Okay. Ah, H7. Okay. No, yeah, but, but I will connect. And if you do this, then I'm, I'm happy to uh, give you the corner and take this. So it, this, it's, I mean, you can do the peep, but uh, you, you can't save the stone. You can't do this. But yeah. This is an option. This is, if, if play Tenuki, how about white d8? Oh, you mean here? If you, then, then if you play this? Well, the, 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 the happy thing about this move, about 
C4 is that if if now this connect and I know it doesn't matter what uh, white, even if we imagine that white has a magical way of connecting, you have this connection now, which is good, thanks to the kick at uh, at C4. Uh, but white doesn't have a good way of of saving the stone actually. <laughs> After I play D8, you just connect, and what's white gonna do? I don't see a good shape for white to continue. This move, this is ugly. Black connects. What you're gonna do this? Oh come on! It's just everything will just die. This is just asking for trouble. Oh, we just got raided. Hey, thank you, Yellington. Thanks a lot. Welcome, guys. This is a Go Magic live stream. We're we just played a nine by nine game. We're talking about Joe Seki. We haven't talked about Joe Seki yet. We will. We will. And uh, we are gonna. We have one more game to review. Hey, is that George Kuhn? <gasps> I want that. What? Where did you get those? That is cool. Hmm. You need to change the. Uh... You made it. Whoa. That is cool, man. That is so cool. We need to make some custom, custom made like uh, emoji for for, for 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 the live stream. Yeah, this looks fantastic, man. Great. Um, yeah, so this this looks. Um, um, yeah, I need to change the contact at the first line mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's go back. Yeah, so I think after this, after those uh, double peep uh, on the on the third line, and, m and my connection, the game became kind of easier for White. I'm not sure if uh, AI would say that this is already game over for for Black and Black can't do anything, but it seems like it's not going to be so problematic for uh, for White here. And like this is probably Santa. You need to respond to this. Otherwise, if you still if you do this, this is too big, maybe. I th at least I hope it's too big. Uh, but probably this was a mistake. You should you should probably ignore this and and get this move first, um, or I mean something like this. Just get just close the corner because uh, even if I get this move, this is Gote. I connect. All right, you just you do something else. Especially if if uh, um, if you play this, and I ignore you and play this, then you just connect and Black wins the game now probably. Oh, we have more Chochikun. Is that Chochikun? Yeah, that's him. How many Chochikuns do we have? Yeah, we have Alexander in uh, on Discord, but we don't have Alexander here. Yeah, Alexander makes for a great emoji. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> so yeah, after this, maybe this was a, uh, this was my mistake. I think I I, I played this move very fast. And, uh, oh, this is Ali and Pavel, okay. Some European professionals now, huh? Good. So this is probably a good chance for, for Black to do something. You responded, you replied automatically, but uh, if you hadn't replied, this could have been, this could have been a nice chance here. And after this, yeah, and also this move, um, don't, 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 don't do that. This, this doesn't really help you, but it does help me. So, uh, Try to avoid playing this. Like this stone is is not helping you in any way. This this E five stone is not interesting. So just 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 Hane, just Hane here and uh, get the points. Anyway, so after after this, after this, uh, I don't think there's any any um, any way to turn the game around because uh, this is uh, this is Sente, and now I, I I descend. This is Sente, and I get more points. But there were chances out there, definitely. So yeah, thanks for the game. Uh, and let's go back, let's go back. So once again, for everyone who just joined us, uh, this is a Go Magic live stream. Um, Go Magic is a, uh, an educational platform website that, that is, at its core, it has uh, interactive video courses on a variety of topics on the game of Go, obviously. And uh, um, uh, and uh, all around that, 
all around those interactive courses, we have also skill trees that help you practice and get some, like get some reading uh, out there and also some materials, some articles and more stuff coming up. Um, let me actually show you real quick. I'm going to sleep. Thank you for the stream and uh, good emotions. Good night. Have a good night. You, oh, I was like, sleep. Where are you? Oh, you're, you're probably in Russia. That's why you're going to sleep. Yeah. Russia is late. Really late. Wait, where do I need to go back? Here. All right. So this is, uh, this is the uh, Go Magic website. And these are the courses, all of the courses. Um, once you're on the website, you click here, courses, and there you go. You will see this. And these are the two historical courses that we talked about in somewhere in the beginning of the stream. And uh, so we have, if you're new to the game, then you probably want to start somewhere at the bottom. We have this as the, the free course um, on the rules of the game. It's pretty simple, pretty short, um, uh, neat, and, and, and easy. Uh, and then from there, you might want to move on to the fundamentals of Go on 13 by 13. It's also free. And this will get you going like on, on a 13 by 13 board uh, without any like super difficult reading, nothing too hard. Just get some basics uh, just in there. Uh, some of the basic techniques, some basic strategy. And then from there, now we also have the typical mistakes that wouldn't let us get better. That's free as well. So probably when you get to around 15 Q, I think you can probably watch this course because I'm sure I guarantee you, if you're around 15 Q and you watch this course, you will find some of the mistakes that you are making in your games. You will find them in this course and it'll, this course will hopefully help you correct them. And then we have some more, more slightly more advanced courses. So once you've moved on to maybe in those stronger double digit cues, then this is the deeper into the game of Go on 19 by 19. And then I um, mean, opening course, end game course, uh, two fantastic courses from Alexander Dinerstein, seven time European champion. These are pretty advanced, probably uh, interesting for anybody from like strong Q players and even uh, dumb players. Those were definitely interesting and educational for me personally. So yeah. Historical courses, and this is the course that we've just released, and we'll release the the entire course in about a week. I think, <laughs> I think in about a week, yeah. And we have a beginner's guide. Says Anton, and Anton is right. We have the right here. If you're new to the on the website, then you probably need to click here right away, and this will tell you exactly what I just told you, only in um, black and white letters. There you go. All of this the Go Fundamentals Trilogy, and these are the three courses you should start with. And everything else comes after this. Da 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 da, your roadmap, like everything. This will just give you a, a blitz. So basically you read this, you follow this, you, you go through those three courses and you become like 10Q. Um, I don't see why you cannot become 10Q after, uh, after successfully taking and passing all of the exercises, all, all the quizzes and playing enough games to just fix that in your head to get all of the like, knowledge down there. Uh, here's a skill tree that you can solve and practice some of those things that you learned in courses. And then some more courses, some more courses. And uh, the Joseki course is, uh, is about the basic, uh, the most simple Joseki you can ever imagine. This is like the, your first Joseki um, guide. If you're like never even, if you don't know, know the word Joseki, it's like, it sounds like a foreign language to you, which it is, it's Japanese. Then yeah, this course is for you. It, it will teach you some very basic Joseki and it will teach you how to avoid uh, some crazy difficulties and play something simple and not get trapped, especially if you're playing against someone stronger. All right, let's get back to The magic roulette. The magic roulette. The magic roulette. The magic roulette. The magic. No. The magic roulette. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so we have one more game to review and we have to talk about Joseki. We haven't even started. It's not, ah, it's late. It's getting late here. Let's talk about Joseki. 
Um, or, uh, yeah. Okay, Dr. Wonder is still here. And uh, while he, he's here, let, let's, let's quickly review that game. Otherwise, uh, he's gonna leave. Trailer, says Anton. Trailer, show the trailer. Okay, trailer. The Joseki Course trailer, which is not so good. No, no, don't watch it. Don't watch it now. Hello, good morning. It is my honest intention to make a fair division of this corner territory. So how do you think we should proceed? I hope you wouldn't mind me surrounding an equal amount of property on the side here. I certainly would not. I think we can both agree that this is a fair result. Oh dear me, old chap, we're actually making progress here, aren't we? Josekis are not some scary monsters that are meant to make the game more complicated, but they're actually a tool that can be used and mastered to make your opening more efficient. You don't have to learn any Josekis. Sometimes when you see that your opponent is trying to make the game more complicated, he's just looking for a fight. And I will show you how to make this game, how to make the Josekis more simple. Because this is like in music, if you want to learn how to improvise or even play a simple tune, you need to learn basic notes and chords first. And this is exactly what we're going to start with. Learn some simple Josekis. Yeah, in this Joseki course, by the way, it's uh, yeah, thank you, great acting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, th this thing shouldn't be in the in the trailer, but it's but but it's there. Uh, the thing about this course, though, is uh, um, it's um, it's all in 4K. Like we've really topped it up, uh, all of our equipment, and now we have two identical cameras. Uh, like over the board and uh, the front camera, they're both the same, and they're both shooting 4K which means that everything you see in the course right now, it used to be like we used to shoot with phones before, but now it's all 4K. So it means that it, the quality is really, really good. I mean, the video quality, the picture quality is just, it's just so, so, so good. It's really like, it's so crisp that I, I, I you, you look at those, like you can see everything, like every single detail on the face and the, and the hand. It's, it's almost frustrating <laughs> how detailed it is. I laughed and I cried and stood up and cheered. Thank you, Dragon. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Dr. Wanderer, don't go anywhere. Don't, don't go anywhere. Let's review the game. Wait, let me open it first. And review the game. Review the soundtrack. All right, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I, it was a long time ago. Yeah, we haven't streamed for a while. So people have been sending us games and I've been storing them on my computer. Just uh, like, this is my stream folder. And finally the time has come. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, you, you, you're probably like, and Dr. Wonder is like, yeah, I'm already, I'm already two or like one Q on KGS or something. And this, in this game, it still shows that I'm six, eight Q. How old is this game? <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, let's take a look. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Yeah, you're, you're playing against someone stronger. And uh, uh, actually, let's take a look. I, I won't take too long because uh, I also want to talk about Joe Seki. But uh, let's just maybe see the, uh, the biggest things here. Okay, um, a simple Joe Seki. And we're going to talk about this Joe Seki in just a second. All right. Okay, white attaches. This is not standard. Like usually, um, usually we Atari here and play the Joseki like this. But okay, fine. White responds. White gets some cash on the top. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Hmm. Now this is an interesting point, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything against this approach. Of course, this is a big move. In the opening, you have to approach every corner you can, you can approach. But uh, remember, there's this classic, uh, like the most uninteresting shape of all uninteresting shapes. And it's uh, this shape right there. 
Like those stones are low and they automatically make everything you play on that side kind of less interesting for both black and white. Uh, and that means that uh, white invades there hoping to what get some territory there, but it's not going to be very promising. So um, you can just, uh, I mean, in the game, black played this, trying to say, no, I take that territory. You take the corner. But that's probably not the wisest thing to do. I mean, probably just, if you simply do this, I mean, I'm sure if we ask Katago here, Katago will say, Kema, don't you know? Play this. Kema is the best move. It's always the best move. But um, yeah, and if, if we imagine that the game goes like this, uh, you know, something like this is played, for example, I don't know, like this, then this, of course, is, is, is very nice. You get the wall, and then you do something like this, I don't know, like this, you attack, I don't know, like this, anything, to attack, uh, to attack the white stone. And yeah, all of, the, all, all of the black stones are just working perfectly here. Very nice combination. But uh, of course, you could consider that black, uh, that white is going to push like this and cut, and this could lead to something unpredictable and crazy. Uh, so something like this, for example, you know, um, black getting the left, white getting the right, but this is not so hard, is it? it? Looks okay, and this could be a nice result for both. Actually, from black is doing good here, but in the game. You do this, and white could have just played this, I think, and just just taken the corner and left black with an uninteresting side. But what happened here is another invasion, which is something I don't understand. This is uh, it looks like a a, a game of uh, I don't know Shinjin So or uh, or or Kujie when they when they play and they just dun 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 invade everywhere and <laughs> just like, what is happening why aren't these people playing any joseki they're supposed to be playing joseki what, what are they doing like yeah or like a ancient chinese the games of huang shi yeah very similar very similar uh, so guys you you should be proud you're playing like huang shi here except uh for this next few moves probably why i sent the game <laughs> yeah okay oh, okay yeah, this is something that will happen. Uh, it's a, a recurrent sort of problem in this game. This sort of attachment is, uh, I mean, we typically don't want to attach too much, especially to the weak stone. Again, I, I, I can't say this enough. Uh, if you have a target to attack, then don't attach to it. It's a target, okay? Don't, don't touch it. It's just a, it's a target. You have to slowly, slowly surround it and then just kill it. So um, an, an obvious response here, which I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost feeling awkward to even point it out, but just a simple descending move would have been much better, it seems. Just descend. Uh, white still needs to do something about the corner, right? White has no time to do this, otherwise we surround the corner. And if white does this, then you can just, I don't know, is this gonna be okay? Something like that. And this looks, Okay, for black. But this attachment allows for some tricks. And this is actually interesting here. I, I looked at this game um, for, I mean, I probably wouldn't even, this is hard to notice. It seems like black is capturing those two stones, but actually, uh, what rank is this? Uh, black is 8Q, and this is uh, uh, Dr. Wanderer who's in the chat right now, and he, he submitted this game. And his opponent is uh, white is 6Q. And uh, it's interesting that white, uh, you're welcome, yeah, sure. White, uh, oh, Takashiru. Are you from Japan? Are you actually from Japan? Those characters suggest that. <laughs> it, it, actually, white could just, you know, play here, surprisingly. And it's, uh, no, oh. Come on, Takashiro. You could have just said yes, and I would have believed you. You know, it's hard for Black to to. to how do you kill those stones? Like you, you play here, White does this, and, and 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 the stones are they escape. You do this, White kills. If if you do this, 
then wait. We can Atari, Atari, and then what? Connect? Black is in trouble here, you know? Black is in trouble. I know it's kind of hard to spot, and yeah, this is this is uh, uh, this is your opponent's mistake. He didn't notice that, but he could have played this. Pretty cool. Anyway, he didn't. He just played here, and now black is okay uh, after this minor mistake. Black is doing good. Black has a actually a very good game. This is a kind of a slow move. Nice, and this is our turn. Typical mistakes course. Ooh. Typical mistakes course 101. Just, this is a close diagonal approach. Never do that. Don't, 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 don't. Don't play like that, okay? Uh, but actually, interestingly enough, in the game, let's take a look at this. Uh, so black blocks, dun -dun, blocks the corner, and white gets this. Typically uh, like this, but okay, fine. And let's compare it to the Joseki. If white had played this, which is a standard move, a standard approach, which kind of threatens to jump into the corner and jump on, on, on the side at the same time, and black does this, the standard sequence is exactly the same, right? So we get the same, same shape. So what, what's, the, what's the catch? How do we even punish? It seems like black, white approached, made a very strange approach, and we get to the same result. And so was that an okay approach? Was it, a, was it fine for, for white? Nope, it wasn't. After this, after this, white descends, and here's the moment. Here's the moment. You don't need to block. Come on, this is second line. You don't need to block. White is not going to do anything here. Just attack, attack. Yes, yes, yes. Here, here, yes, yes, definitely. Like this. Attack white. What is white going to do? Crawl, block. Nothing. Now, this would give you the initiative. This, this would definitely punish white for the mistake. And this would really make this. Now everything, the, the opening really, really looks good for, um, uh, for, oh yeah, yeah, so many people followed. Uh, Honimbo, no. <laughs> Honimbo. Uh, it's like, welcome composer Bartok and welcome Honimbo, no, Honimbo Nobaku and money, money. Uh, Vadim is busy. Vadim is not busy. Vadim is just chilling here, and you know, talking about the game. So I think this is this would this is a really good chance for you to take the initiative and um, really. I'm not saying win the game. I'm saying uh, get a very nice position in the opening, and like Black has nothing to worry about here after this. Uh, welcome, Sir Little Cody Jr. No spaces. Yeah, so it, it's very easy. I, I I get how how it's very uh, intuitively easy to respond like this, like oh yeah, why is threatening to get into the corner? Respond, don't let him in. So easy to uh, do that. I mean, I can see myself like in in a fast game. Uh, I could just respond like this automatically too. But once you slow down, once you like ask yourself, hey 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 hey, wait wait wait, second line what? Do I have to respond to this second line in in like early middle game? Uh, I don't think so. And this is good, okay. Another ah, oh, this invader, the alien invader, he's invading everything. And again, this 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 is this is the problem, uh, and this is the beginning of the the the, the problem. So uh, your opening was really looking good until a certain point. And this is another pro another attachment of the same kind. Again, a weak stone, white is invading probably unreasonably because white has a weak group here, right? This is weak group number one. This is weak group number two. White is creating himself one more weak group, which is completely unnecessary. Darth invader. Yeah, yeah, I'm assuming you're not from Korea either, right? This is the day of, uh, of, of different characters, but uh, there was a Chinese guy who was not Chinese. Now there is a uh, who's from France. There was a a guy with Japanese characters who's not Japanese, and now there's a guy with Korean characters who's obviously not Korean. Ah. So yeah, uh, just 
I think playing something like uh, something like this would have been better. What's the level of the players playing? Uh, oh, you are Korean. Whew, my apologies. And welcome to the chat. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Honey but no buckle. Okay. <laughs> Honey but no buckle. That's a hilarious username. Uh, and uh, the level of players, uh, Black, uh, whose game we're reviewing, is 8Q, and uh, his opponent, White, is 6Q. So it's 8, 6Q. Uh, yeah, so something like this. Just calmly disconnect and not to allow White to do this. Like, otherwise, if you don't play anything, like, let's say you, I don't know, you play something like this, this jump does not disconnect. It allows white to do this, cut, and do some, some sort of trickery, cut through and get some connection. And this is something you don't want to allow, right? So the, the, the only thing you have to make sure of is not to give this attachment to white. And not to give it, just play a Kosomi here or here, uh, and you're good. Ramirez Santos. Hey, Colombia. Wow, wow. So after this attachment, boom, <laughs> center. But again, the center, the time for center moves is, has probably not come yet. White is not, you shouldn't be afraid that white is going to get, yeah, you're probably thinking that white will get the entire center, maybe. But maybe this is still uh, not the fastest move yet. I mean, the bottom is still open. But yeah, uh, this center is looking so threateningly big because the reason is that you allowed white to simply connect like this. And now white has this uh, sort of wall on the right, wall on the left, wall on the top. So it's, start it's starting to look like a moyo, yeah. And probably the oh so so slow. And this is okay. White responded, and this is probably the final. Yeah, yeah. This this is the final mistake maybe because you can't just you can't really cannot allow yourself to play so slowly. You can play this move if you if you count that you're I don't know thirty points ahead. If you're thirty points forty points ahead in the game, you just killed a dragon somewhere in the corner. You just killed like a group that is this big, bigger than my head. Maybe you can play this move just to make sure that you're absolutely connected. But if not, if you still have if you still have a long way to go, then you you should you shouldn't play this. Who's counting? Yeah, me. <laughs> and I don't count black to be so much ahead. Um, so this is not the time to play something like so so modest. You really have to play something a lot more territorial than this. So instead of this move. Uh, what can we play? Actually, this move looks huge, and nobody plays this move, and nobody played this move from the, from the minute it was it was like it was there. And I think nobody will play this move in the next like thirty or forty moves. It will just stay there. But this is huge. You're saving the stone, and if White does this, you cut, you cut, you cut, 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 cut. You have to attack because you're you're kind of not winning this game yet. It's it's close, but I would say White probably is doing a little better here at this point. So yeah, you have to you have to be tough. You have to attack and start fights. You can't just play super peacefully. So this this cut could uh, could be your ticket back into the game. And uh, playing peacefully like this, why just does this, gets more points, gets more points and there you go. And and why just come oh this We'll have to put this into the typical mistakes 2.0. This is an anti tesuji just anti tesuji Don't don't attach like this. It just gives white an easy. It's it's gote, right? You get no points. White connects. You connect. Atari connect. What first line? First line. And white gets sente. So you you took zero points, almost no points, in gote, and you gave sente to to white. I mean, don't you think that instead of this whole combination, I don't know, a move like this one wouldn't have been better? I mean, anything here, even like this move it would have been better. It's not the best, but th this would have been bigger, right? Or almost anything 
well, I, I'm not talking about this move for sure. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of moves on the top that you can play, trying to reduce that. I, I don't think you can invade. It's probably too late for that. So this sort of invasion is too late. Uh, but trying to reduce the top in some sort of way, something like this, definitely bigger than um, this second line move. And yeah, so that's that's probably going to be all of the commentary because we still have to talk about Joseki and let's do it. I hope it wasn't too short. What time is it in Korea? Let me count, by the way. In Korea, wait, it should be... Yeah, it should be later in Korea than here. So it should be very late, actually. It should be like past midnight, I think, right? Something like 1, 1 a.m. maybe in Korea right now. Probably. But that's just a wild guess. Oh, right. Uh, so we it's been a while. Let's let's talk about... Ooh, ooh, ooh so many comments. What software do you use to, to insert the black background? I don't insert the... <laughs> You'll be surprised to know that this is not an inserted black ground, uh, b b backdrop. It's an actual black, black background. It's not the wall. It's, an, it's, it's a studio. I'm in a studio. This, this is where we film the Go Magic courses. We, we filmed the courses right here, right now. We used to have the gray backdrop before. And so in, the, in, the, in most of our courses from, like from, from way back in Russia, you will see that the backdrop is all gray. But in the Joseki course, you will see that it's black. And it's right, this, this backdrop right here. Thank you. In fact, in fact that I lost in sense to this anti Suji move, I noticed myself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, just... Pay attention to, like, ask yourself before you make the move, ask yourself, am I losing center here? Because if, if I am, then maybe I should just stop myself right there and just play something else. Is uh, Sente is just so, so important. And I, I, I mean, this is something that I also have to always keep in mind when I'm playing. Uh, sente, sente, sente. Like, always keep it. Try to keep it. You can't always keep the sente. Sometimes you have to make a big gote move to defend or something, but... Uh, if it's really big enough, sure. And no carpet anymore. Sorry. Uh, the carpet was only for the historical courses. And the carpet was not on the wall. Who are we? Are we some Soviet time Russians or something? Who do you take us for? We have only the uh, high quality rugs on the floor. So let's talk, let's talk about Joseki. And um, so for this, for this um, live stream, I was thinking we could talk about some of the variations that didn't make it into the course um, because I've included only the simple variations and I didn't want to make the lessons too long. So I've, um, uh, Anton is always sending those uh, dog Gina emojis. He misses his, he misses Gina so much. Poor guy. So um, I've included some of the variations. I, I will show you something that didn't get into the course because I, I wanted, I didn't want to make the lessons too long. So I just, uh, I, I had to, you know, take the scissors and just cut cut out sections and segments and Joseki and, and, and lots of things that I had to cut out to make the course kind of compact. And some of those things that I cut out, I'm going to show you. So let's take a look. Wait, let me open first. Review. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Trailer says Anton. How many tra <laughs> How many times are we gonna watch this goddamn trailer? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll 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 watch the trailer once again, maybe at the end, if if uh, if I don't forget. Uh, so, uh, cause if, if I show the trailer, if, if I keep talking and showing trailers, I will never get to talk about Joseki and like the, our OGS notification everywhere says, let's talk about Joseki, everybody. Are we talking about Joseki? Have you noticed any Josekis around here? No Josekis. 
And that's why. Why? Because we have been reviewing games and, 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 and watching trailers. No more. Uh, so. Let's take a look at this. So I'm, I'm going to show you... Um, First off, I'm, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with Anton insisted that I show. Yeah, yeah, Anton. Anton insisted that I show uh, his favorite Joseki for some reason. He wanted me to show that Joseki in the course, the, the sacrilege, just to consider the sacrilege of this. Um, and his favorite Joseki is not approved by Katago, but it's... No, it's not the waterfall. It's called the avalanche, by the way, not the waterfall. And uh, no, no, it's not the one. No, come on. Anton is the master of simplification. He likes simple games where he can just, you know, uh, win the game without too many wild things happening just because he's a strong player. Uh, it, let's hope it starts with Sun Sun. Well, spoiler alert, it doesn't. So let's let's see. Let's just imagine that we have a very, very a very standard setup. I'm going to use this setup for the remainder of this conversation. Uh, so black gets two komokus, two three four points, and white just gets something on the left. Doesn't matter. Now black gets a corner enclosure, and white approaches. White approaches high, and at this point, uh, black gets a chance to play uh, Anton's favorite Joseki. And uh, <laughs> this is probably something you've never seen before, maybe, or I don't know, maybe seen once in your lifetime before, I don't know. But this, this Joseki is really not so common. I think it's a Kitani invention. It was invented by Kitani, uh, Kitani Minoru uh, when he was improvising and thinking of Josekis. And oh, oh, we have, Anton, we have some of your friends in the chat. <laughs> they know you're Joseki. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, once I told you that the, this is like an impossible move that nobody ever plays, people are like, yeah, it, it couldn't be, it couldn't be Q4, could it? Yes, it is. It's Q4. It's this move right here, and well, here comes the question: If you're white, how would you respond? Let's run a poll. I hope you're not asleep yet. Come on. How would you respond to this? If Black suddenly does such a crazy thing as the, this kick that looks like a bad shape, why, why would you bump that white stone? Why would you do that? So Anton, while everyone is voting, tell us. Um, Anton is going to be like, talking to you guys from through the chat. I don't know why he wouldn't do that in person, but Anton, so why do you like this Joseki so much? Like um, in which, like, would you play this against someone your level? Would you play this against someone stronger? Would you play this against uh, a student? In, in what situations would you actually use this Joseki? Tiwari analysis of this shape is black Q4, black Q4. White attaches Q5, and black descends Q3. I'm not that strong at, uh, at Tawari, actually. Tawari is, uh, is I, I mean, I love the way um, it logically structures everything and explains some things, but... Uh, Q4 was played uh, as an initial. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Q4 was played. Yeah, yeah, it looks incredibly weird. If, if Q4 was played first, yeah, and then white attaches and black descends. Yeah, that, that's wild. So, uh, can we see what the results of the poll are? Because I can't see them from here. Whoa, everyone is like, what a unanimous, what a unanimous decision here. Everyone says A. Everyone says A. Everyone says A, except for one uh, one person right there, uh, except for Katago, because uh, I actually asked Katago <laughs> uh, about this, and Katago disagrees with all of you. Oh, yeah. 
Catego says that uh, uh, B is a better option, but yeah, you know, Catego, you shouldn't listen to Catego too much because it often says, it says something and then it it it, it will uh, it will give you a thirty move variation to explain that. So, oh, your Catego says A. What kind of Catego am I using there? But any anyway, the idea behind uh, oh because it's very simple, Joseph and White can play some crazy variations. Yeah, exactly. So uh, this kind of simplifies the game. It, 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 it simplifies this corner. And if you're playing against someone, uh, you know, uh, in, in, a, in, a teach, in, a, in a handicap game or something, if you play this, it's very hard for, for White to, to do something difficult here to somehow trap uh, Black into any, any sort of uh, crazy variation. So if, if we imagine, okay, let's try A that you all suggested first. A, then black will Hane, for sure, right? You Hane, white will do this, black just extends. White will probably push once again, black extends. And now white can just make an extension on the right. So how far will we go? Something like this, I think, something like this. Um, I would love to play a, a longer extension, but I'm afraid that because there's a weakness, right? Right here, there's a weakness. And it means that there's a peep. Uh, black can always think of, uh, oh, oh, what am I doing? Black can always think of playing this peep in the future. So if we go too far, if we play something like this, black can always do some sort of this peep and disconnect. It's a bit dangerous. So this is probably a Joseki and, uh, and, and this looks, to me, at least to my eye, it looks a little, Worse for black compared to the standard variation that we'll take a look at in, in just a few minutes. Um, black could have gotten more territory in the corner, and white and, and, and black just willingly decided to get less. Can black play a double honey? Let's see. Oh, you mean this, right? Um, I think black can definitely. Uh, white will Atari, and then this. And if black takes it now, then this is definitely better for for white. And black shouldn't have. So black probably doesn't have a choice here. Black has to do this. But at, at some point, you still have to go back. You still have to go back. And the result is very similar. Maybe white is a little stronger now, and black is a little stronger now. So both get slightly stronger positions. But yeah, possible, for sure. Um, the other option would be to play B and uh, allow... Uh, no, Katago suggests uh, not playing double honey, but double honey is not a mistake for sure. Double honey is, you know, when Katago says that this is a slightly worse option, it just says that, oh, you're going to lose 3% or 2%, but those 3%, they don't really matter because they mean that in terms of points, you're losing only a tiny fraction of a point. I mean, what does it matter in the, in the early opening? Thank you so much for the interesting stream. Bye, everyone. Bye, Grandfather Frog. See you next time. So yeah, in, in this case, if white extends upwards, and this is something that I would probably do because um, I love playing for influence, and this is a more influence-oriented move. Black has uh, black can jump here, or oh, or black can uh, just honey. If black honeys, this, uh, this, and black jumps. Black gets the corner. That's okay. And the traditional Honte Japanese approach would suggest, I think when Kitani invented this Joseki, the general suggestion used to be play here. But this move kind of does nothing except for making a beautiful shape. Yeah, it protects, it just kind of solidifies white into a, into a nice uh, little bundle of a shape. But it doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you territory, it doesn't attack black. A very mo like one one sided move. Um, I think the computer suggests this sort of jump, which kind of indirectly defends against the cut. Uh, it protects as well, not as solidly, but still a defense. And at the same time, it 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 just puts some pressure at, on the bottom group. So if if black now takes this, for example, white can start surrounding. This is okay. I mean, so yeah, if, you look, if, if you're looking for a simple variation to play, why not try this one in your games? I don't really favor, I, I don't really like this variation so much because I like to play 
I don't like to play for territory. I like to. Uh, uh, I prefer playing for influence and for some aggressive attacks. But that's just my style. But if you like, if you want to get a simple territory in the corner, then this could be interesting. Uh, yeah, and the jump, yeah, jump is just there for a distraction. I, I don't know why I put it there. So th there you go. This is Anton's favorite favorite Joseki. Anton, you you asked, and I did it. Uh, and the Joseki that I wanted to talk about here is actually this one. And if you ask Katago at this point, like, what do I do? Why just approached? What is the best move around here? Then Katago will definitely tell you that the only, the only, only, only move here is this attachment. Woof, woof. That means uh, thank you in dog language. Um, and um, um, Black will attach, and the result is actually better than the one in Anton's favorite Joseki. Black will get more points, I think. So Katago seems to like that result so much that it doesn't really offer any alternatives to, 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 to this. So it doesn't suggest playing any, any pincer here, anything, anything else. So any of those other moves, any of these moves, no, 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 no. Just attach and take the points. And, see, and here's the simplest variation that we can have here. This, this, white connects, black jumps, and white makes uh, an extension. Uh, this, the low high or the high extension, doesn't matter. And this territory that black gets, it's about, it's about 14 points. 14 points of solid territory that cannot be ever taken away from black. Isn't that good? Pretty good. And uh, what I, um, I kind of brushed on this topic, it just, just I touched on this very lightly in, in the course because I didn't want to spend too much time on it. But now we have a chance to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, I didn't really mention the difference between this move and this move. And this is something that I wanted to talk about right now. Because um, this used to make a lot of difference. These days, not so much maybe, but before there was a lot of uh, uh, like underplay. There was a lot of things happening so behind the scenes, so to speak. They were, they were not played in the game, but they were kind of thought through before making a connection. So, uh, and a player would choose the connection uh, depending on the surrounding circumstances, the surrounding stones. So just to give you an, uh, an, an example of this, let's go very back. And let's imagine that the game goes something like this. And black uh, has a, a star point here. Uh, let's go like this, for example, black invades, white approaches, and we get the same shape. And here, uh, well, not in exactly the same setup, but before, what you would like often see, before making this connection, before deciding on one single variation to go for, white would make a probe. White would ap ap approach this corner. And I also, I've always liked this probing move as I, I thought it's, it's so elegant. I'm not sure the computer would, would agree with this, but it just looks like such a, 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 like elegantly slick human idea. So we approach. And we ask Black how Black is going to defend. If Black goes for this, then we can rearrange our stones in the Joseki in such a way as to not allow Black to um, attack us severely. Now we can play this. Black defends. And we complete the Joseki. See? And the marked stone is at a two space distance from, from our Joseki position. So if it's closer, it can attack us. If black has a choice to move that stone right now, if black has a chance to, if black has a chance to take it off the board and it's black's turn right now, black would definitely want to have this stone right here, closer to white to invade in the future, right? But black doesn't have it. Uh, and if, if we go back, if we go back and if we imagine that Black says, hey, I know this, I understand the plan, I'm going to do this, huh, I'm prepared. Then in this case, White is not going to choose the same variation anymore. White will connect. White won't play the tiger's mouth. Connect and now 
black can still finishes the Joseki. And white plays this. And there's still the same uh, the same distance between between the stones. And black still didn't get, didn't get that attack. Except white Q5 or Q7, there's N6 move. Q6, what? Anton? <laughs> Speak clearly into the microphone, please. What is that? Yeah, thank you. I, I, I can't read those variations. Come on, Q5, Q7, Q6. <laughs> ah! So crazy. So this was uh, just an idea from, from the past. I, I've never, I haven't seen this played these days, but it was maybe played like, I don't know, 15 years ago when I was starting to play. This was a kind of popular trick. But let's go back to the, uh, how do I, now, how do I find the back variation? Oh, no, 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 it's not here. Yeah. Katigo says you should never Tenuki R4. Black would immediately... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was, I was just going to talk about this, that uh, today the computers have made it, uh, like all of this uh, play Tenuki here to determine which way you want to connect in the future. This human, I, brilliant human idea got destroyed because now, yeah, Katigo says that this cut is simply too big. It's simply too big for black. And if, if white now does any sort of, uh, you know, probing move, then uh, black probably will just cut immediately. And this is very, very big. It destroys this white potential on the right immediately. So um, thanks to computers, now we know that white really shouldn't tenuki this. White, white should determine which way he's going to uh, defend the stone right away. And in the course, I... Um, so, uh, sorry for my English. Don't, don't apologize for your English. I, I, you should apologize for your uh, uh, coordinates. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, in the course, I, I, I mentioned that since this, this is a basic Joseki course, uh, then just play this one because it leads to simple variations. But if, if you're not afraid of complications, if you would like some adventure, then you can definitely, because after this, nothing scary is going to happen. This, and, and you just play here, and uh, black would approach, okay? Uh, black would approach, but before we would recommend to maybe defend here, but now it's not considered to be necessary. White is okay, white is not going to die here, so white should just tenuki. Uh, white can, you know, maybe uh, take the, the corner or, you know, play anything. And if black invades, white can handle it and give up some territory and make thickness. Yeah, the menace in my eyes. Um, however, the adventure side of this whole thing is playing this move. And the reason I'm, I didn't recommend it in the course is, is this. All right, suppose we finish the Joseki in the same way. With this shape, you kind of, I mean, you can definitely play um, safer and you, you can still make the same exact extension, right? So now if we, if we imagine that the stone is here, right? Here we go. This is the same Joseki, but the stone is here. And But this is not Joseki. Uh, we think that with this shape, we can make a longer extension. So, wait, how do I... What's happening here? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can, we can make a longer extension. And now, even if we forget... Even if we forget about this move for black, and black can definitely play here, you're not going to respond to this. And in the future, black has a lot of semi, semi severe uh, follow ups here. Let me just show you what, what, what might happen. Let's say uh, white tenuki is here, white uh, does this. And then there's this point, this point, which is um, kind of unpleasant to respond to. Vadim missed the messages. I didn't miss your messages. I, I, I said it, it, it what? So, Oh, I said, sorry for my English. N6 is crazy, but it's possible. N6. N6. Oh, N6. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll get to that. Uh, I, I wasn't planning to, but we'll get to that. What about... Oh, so many. Wait. What about P4 or O4 instead of O3? P4 
four. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think there's much of a difference. At least I don't know of that difference. I think if you just if you're not happy with your stones being so low, like right now you don't you don't want to be low like this. Especially maybe if you have some potential to develop a territory at the bottom. Uh, if you, if you think that this if if maybe you have a, a black stone here in this corner in the lower left, if we imagine that black has a stone there, then maybe you could think of playing here to get a chance to you know uh, to play some sort of higher. And if, if this is your stone on the left, then you could hope to still make a, a larger framework with your stones instead of playing a low move at uh, 03. So th this is my take on it. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I would I would consider playing P4, P4 higher if there's hope to get something. And what was the other option? Uh, P4, O4. O4, yeah, also possible these days, uh, also possible. Uh, and it's kind of looking at, I think, O, um, maybe even, maybe even AlphaGo played this in one of the games. It's kind of looking at this peep. But at the same time, you have to be aware that this peep kind of destroys the Aji that, uh, of, of this invasion on the right that we're going to talk about. Because when white connects, white fixes this, white becomes stronger. But if we go all the way back, not, okay, not all the way, but we still get this, and, and we get this, and we get this, and, uh, and then black invades. Now this could potentially lead to a lot more trouble on your plate than you want to have. Because now if you want to not allow black to connect, this, this move threatens a connection, right? A simple connection. So this would be a connection. If you don't want this to happen, then you probably need to respond like this, okay? You disconnect, uh, it's a good shape, everything is fine. And now black has many tricks. That black has a whole Santa Claus bag of tricks here. So black can, for example, do some, something like this. And if black has a lot of co-threats, black could even think about playing here and you know starting this co. Or black can even cut. And I'm not even gonna try to get into those variations that can happen after this, because after this, there are so many things that both black and white can do. Uh, it's gonna be a very, very difficult fight. And also, if black doesn't want to attach, black can do this. And before, before computers, we used to think that at this point, white needs to try and submissively just connect like this on the second line and get cut. Oh wait, there's a black stone there. Oh, this this looks terrible right now. But I mean, without without the black stone, if we imagine, even if we imagine that the black stone is not there, still it was this variation trying to connect. But now um, let's let's actually let's even imagine that the black stone is not even there, and black invades anyway. And we do this, and this, and computers are telling us that um, it's okay to get disconnected. The best option actually is to is for white to stay disconnected. Haha, <laughs> let's stay disconnected. Let's 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 get white black wants to cut. Let's allow him that. Let's get cut and let's have some fun. Um so when when this happens, uh Catago and, and and all of those uh like alpha goes, they say don't 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 try to just crawl in the second line. Just do this. Do this and fight with two groups. At the same time, it's a good fight, so they say. But uh, to me, to my human understanding, this is not so obvious. I, if if I got this position on the right in the first place, I wanted to get some solid base. And now, what is this? Only a few moves later, I'm all split, and I have to fight for my life. Computers can handle this easily. I'm not sure I can. So, if this is something that you like and you want to get into this like messy fighting, sure, go ahead. But um, if, if you're looking for an easier game, then th I'm just showing you why I did not suggest uh, playing this, this tiger's mouth instead of a simple connection. P4 is Ghost Again's favorite move. P4. Oh, P4. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, Ghost Again was, a, was an aggressive player, so why not? But of course, the view of, of theory 
uh, was very different even back then. And with all of Ghost Again's in innovations, the kind of Go that we're playing these days is just so, so different from anything he could ever imagine. So, um, this is probably what I wanted to talk about in this in this Joseki. Anton Savory Joseki and these differences here. Uh, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. And yeah, and also a very, um, which I, I, again, I kind of talked about this very briefly in the course, but uh, what very often happens these days, and th this is very, very often the setup for this Joseki to be played. Black gets a corner enclosure like this, and a white approach is here, and we get this Joseki. And before finishing the Joseki like this, before allowing Black to do this, which is a perfect uh, checking extension, you're like, you're extending and you're also uh, not allowing white to extend and you're also attacking white. So this move seems to be doing so many things at the same time. And instead of allowing that, uh, something you will see very often. And we, people played this before, even before computers. And this has become even more popular these days. White attaches here. And this kind of forces black to react. If black does something like this, okay, this is already a useful exchange. We get the stone, now we can maybe play even a little bit farther away from the, from the stones and hope to get something on the right. And now it's more difficult for black to, to play because white has a stone there. But typically black will play this, 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 and now we can do something like that. And this is the Joseki. So we, we get the Joseki plus the extra exchange first so we don't allow black to make this checking extension and attack the white shape. So this is something you can try in your games. Um, and if, if that's not enough, then in about a week, we will uh, hopefully complete the, the Joseki course and all of the 11 lessons, I think, all of the 11 lessons. And in that course, I, I'll talk not only about the, not only about this Joseki, but about many, many, many more uh, simple Joseki's that you can try and play in your games. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be released in about a week, so wait for it. All right, I think we've reviewed all the games. We've talked about Joseki. Uh, we've, uh, uh, we've we've done everything. What time is it? I think it's time to. Uh, uh, isn't it time to see the trailer? All right, let's see the trailer one more time before Anton asks for it, and. Uh, <laughs> it's like, isn't it trailer time? Yeah, it's about uh, 15 to trailer. Um, so, <laughs> hey, Savvy Blobfish. Hey, how's it going? Um, so let's 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 okay. Let's let's see that trailer one one last time. One, la I promise you, I promise you, one last time. Let's do one last one, and we'll never see it again. <laughs> oh my goodness, the trailer. The Joseki trailer. The Joseki trailer. <sighs> Hello. Good morning. It is my honest intention to make a fair division of this corner territory. So how do you think we should proceed? I hope you wouldn't mind me surrounding an equal amount of property on the side here. I certainly would not. I think we can both agree that this is a fair result. Oh dear me, old chap. We're actually making progress here, aren't we? Joseki's are not some scary monsters that are meant to make the game more complicated, but they're actually a tool that can be used and mastered to make your opening more efficient. You don't have to learn any Joseki's. Sometimes when you see that your opponent is trying to make the game more complicated, he's just looking for a fight. And I will show you how to make this game, how to make the Joseki's more simple. Because this is like in music. If you want to learn how to improvise or even play a simple tune, you need to learn basic notes and chords first. And this is exactly what we're gonna start with. Learn some simple Josekis. And the most attentive among you probably just noticed that that, that same very Joseki that we just talked about right in the trailer. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I think we've, uh, we've done uh, with uh, all of the agenda has been yeah, British heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my like whenever there's a peaceful division of territory, it just has to be British. It's just I don't know. This is a I don't know. I I, I know I'm totally biased here, um, but um, 
even though British is really not my natural accent. Uh, but um, my my natural accent is Russian accent. <laughs> but yeah, despite being a very un British thing, um, you think so? Maybe. Maybe Canadian. They're so nice. <laughs> okay. So fellow, what a neighborly thing to say. Uh, did it just seem to me that Buzz saw you change your username once again? Oh, you didn't. Was it the same thing as, uh, as was it the same same username as last time? I remember it was something. So oh, okay, it was, it, it, so it's the same then. Canadians are not so formal. Okay, nobody's nobody's ever so formal as I as I was in that trailer. Okay, okay. We uh, let's let's I guess forget about that. Person designed some spicy divisions around the world in the time. Oh, just AJID8. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bus saw was added later. All right, guys, I think it's uh, it's about time to wrap it up uh, and call it a night. Because, um, yeah, if you, if you guys have any have any questions, last, last minute, last second questions, you can ask them right now. Like, for example, uh, when is the end of the world? Or, you know, uh, when is the next volcano eruption? Uh, or any, any other m more important questions, you can ask them right now. And if not, then you can always leave your questions for... I hope we're going to start streaming again more. Because uh, I was... We didn't want to change the setup while I was filming uh, the course. So we didn't stream for a long time. But we'll get back to this now. So we'll we'll talk more about Joe Psyche. We'll more, review more games. We'll play more games. We'll do a lot more stuff. We'll do more interviews, I hope. So more more fun things are coming. Uh, when will pandemic end? <sighs> Personally, I hope that it will end uh, January 1st, uh, 2020, 2022. Um, I mean, it just has to. Otherwise, it's getting complicated here. Uh, I love that you have trailers for course, like they're, uh, they're a major motion picture. Yeah, and now if you want to go big on this, we really have to release them like a couple of months before before the course, right? Like, as the, like the Matrix is coming in, in, in December in a few days, and like they released a trailer about a month ago or a month and a half ago. So we have to do the same thing, release the trailers early to make everyone anticipate and like, mmm, it's like everyone starts drooling. It's like, oh my goodness, that looks phenomenal. Oh, so good. And then we start filming the, the course. How about Academy Awards for the courses? If they ever start an Academy Awards like uh, for Go courses, then I think we have a pretty good chance. <laughs> Considering how many Go courses are out there. We got a shot. We got a shot. Um, when did you find another redeem for the trailer? You know, we, we, we looked far and near and we found one. I had to spend extra cash on, on this. You know, we, we, we had to buy this extra redeem, another yellow shirt. And that wasn't easy to find. Was, the, the second redeem was easy, but the, the, the second yellow shirt, the exact same one, that was hard. That was hard. All right. Oh, holiday celebrations. The magic is in the air. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Christmas is all around me. And so the magic grows. Uh, what go rank am I? Um, well, everywhere it says that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a four don, which is, uh, I, I put my Chinese rank. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Chinese four don. Uh, I'm, uh, I used to be Tai Jim six don and I am, uh, Fox six don as well. So not, not very strong, but I'm a don level player. And so is man go man. And so is magic course. Thanks for the stream. Ciao. Ciao. All right, second, uh, the last minute questions are over. Uh, see you guys next time. And um, don't forget, if you have any more questions, any more suggestions for live streams, send them to us. You know where to find us. Uh, you have our email, uh, our Discord, Facebook, VK, anywhere. And uh, we'll try to make it happen. 
See you guys. See you guys next time.